So I have finally found some time to work on my website. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write articles with AI that will rank on Google. I will be using the best AI tools and models available. However, I will start with a simple prompt that many beginners probably use and work my way up to a good article that can bring in some traffic. Along the way, you will learn a bit about SEO, search engine optimization, good content versus bad content, and prompting with AI. So I have access to ChatGPT, but for this video, I will be comparing two models. It will be ChatGPT's GPT-4 Omni and Cloud3 Sonnet. So these are two different models from two different companies. And I'm using something called OmniGPT. This is actually great when you are using more than one model. It's cheaper and you can have access to all of it in the same place. So I'm going to write the same prompt for both models and see what we get. Let's start with something simple. So let's say you want to write an article. So many people might go write an article about and then their subject. So for this case, I'm going to write for my website, Snowball AI. I will go with something like write an article about the importance of children's books. So I'm going to use the same prompt here and let's send. So as you see, GPT-4 starts with the heading and with the markdown, but Cloud wrote, here's a draft article on the importance of children's books. So this is only a draft. Let's say, write the entire article. This is so that we can make a better comparison. And you see here that ChatGPT did better with the headers, but if we compare the entire article and let's see here how many words we have. So let's copy this. 379 words and let's copy here yes yeah, 636 words so this is better when it comes to the amount of output so a longer article doesn't always mean that it's better but the big difference between these two models is that cloud has better language and it's more human like so you can always prompt it to change the language it's using and so on but cloud is usually much better we need to move on and really take out the best of both these models. And this is how you can create really high quality articles that will rank on Google. So now we only use the simple prompt. So let's move on to the next part. In this video, I'm going to go over these five steps. So we've already done the simple prompt and comparison of models and we compare GPT with cloud. So we're not entirely done comparing. We're going to move on to the third step and we're going to improve the prompt and combine the models to get the best article. So now we're going to make it a little better. And this is done by asking for an outline of an article first. So we can say, give me an outline for an article about the importance of children's books let's send it here and here so this basically gives us an outline before it creates the entire article so it's much better to do it this way because then it can think ahead and create more in-depth points about your topic instead of just creating the entire article so if you remember when we just told it to write an article about the importance of children's books. It just gave us like six headers. But now when we say give us an outline, it creates 10 headers. So if we compare it with Cloud3 with the same improved prompt, we can see that it only gives us six. So this means that even though Cloud is better when it comes to writing, when it comes to the outline, ChatGPT is actually better. So this can of course be changed by writing to cloud give me an outline for this article with 10 headers and it will create something that's with 10 headers but ChatGPT is actually better at writing outlines for an article currently so if we take this we can just do this and say write this article So now we're combining ChatGPT with cloud to get better articles. And as you see here, this is actually better. So if we say, write this article. So the new model GPT-4, oh, it might actually be better than GPT-4, but like the language is 
much much better when it comes to cloud so i would still rely on cloud so when i experimented with this earlier what it did do without me telling it to do uh, was that it created lists for the article and that was amazing because this is something that is really good to do when you write an article to give the information in easier ways for the reader to read and see but with gpt4 omni it did do it on its own so it's an improvement let's try the next part so we see here we have a long article now and these headers like they can be formatted so that's not a problem all right let's move on so we've done number three and we've actually done number four as well outline from gpt and cloud article so let's go to the last one and it's to improve our prompt so to turn this into an article that will have a higher chance of ranking on google we'll need to add some extra elements we're going to add tables bullet lists quotes together with the paragraphs and that will actually increase your chances of ranking on google so there are a lot of other stuff that we're going to need to get into but let's focus on these parts in this video so i'm going to write one last prompt and this is going to turn our articles into something that's actually readable so let's go with let's copy our first prompt what was it let's see here ah oh, never mind we can just go with write this article again include tables bullet lists quotes etc together with the paragraphs include new info if necessary so let's send this so usually you don't need to tell gpt4 to do this as well i'm just comparing so even this last step here uh, when it gave us the outline it was just to give you a comparison but once you have the outline just copy this and give it to cloud and write a better prompt as well you don't need to do this bad step here as well you can just tell it to write this article and then do the rest i don't know why it's scrolling down but yeah just give it the outline and you tell it to write an article and include lists and so on so now if we take this here we can probably just tell it to write it in mark down format so this will hopefully turn it into yeah as you see now it did format it now you can go with can you include tables as well and make sure it targets different age groups and the outcome of the good effects of children's books so let's see if it actually does add a table yeah there we go so this is what i was looking for um so you can always make your content more unique by adding something extra um Again, it does the same thing here i believe when it's writing it's auto scrolling down yeah this looks great so this is a good article and let's see here how many words so it's 1500 words and it's great so this is something that could actually rank on google because you have quotes you have blood lists and tables uh, and we have added a extra element of our own and always make sure that you read through your content first so you don't get penalized for mistakes that could have been avoided cognitive development enhanced language skills emotional development social development yeah this is actually great here we go let's see this one so this is what we added manually age specific benefits of children's books infants and toddlers the benefits early elementary late elementary and so on most of complex emotions so by giving your children books at an early age you deepen the understanding of complex emotions and social dynamics exploring personal identity and self-expression fostering a love for literature and a lifelong reading habit awesome i learned something new i hope you did too guys all right if you like this please like this video if this gets enough views i might continue and create more similar videos so make sure you check out omni gpt i believe i only pay like 16 bucks for it per month 
so uh, i have access to chat gpt and every other model as well like you can see even perplexity which is actually really really good when you're writing articles and want to stay up to date and write something that's uh, relevant today all right guys thank you and see you in the next one